guys, it's me Damien and I'm the Brick Star Maniac for another LEGO review. So this is uh, another polybag review. This is a LEGO Batman movie polybag review. Uh, set number 30522. This is, it is, I mean this is called ba Batman in the Phantom Zone. It has uh, one minifigure and I got it from a uh, uh, supermarket. I found it and I I knew I w I would take it because I wouldn't have any chance uh, later. So I will show you the instruction booklet. I f I think. I mean, I will show it. It's hard to open them with one hand because. I have to record with my phone. I don't have a computer yet because I have a I have a phone. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I think it's too hard. Um, here it is, and so, these are some of the extra pieces. I heard that they put extra pieces because they want you to make your own creations with them or modify or or yeah make mocks with them or add some some more uh, to add more pieces and yeah uh, before I show you the build I want to show you this David Nika requested it he doesn't speak in Eng in uh, English yeah usually but some of his videos are in English the gaming videos and some that aren't some of them are uh, without speaking he doesn't speak but now this is the Darth Vader minifigure this is a pretty rare minifigure I mean it's the old style one so here is his face and his old style helmet. I heard there was a. I uh, actually saw a video where a prototype was in a. Uh, uh, a prototype with a red Darth Vader minifigure. He had, he had a red helmet, which is very rare now. Uh, and uh, his back printing that doesn't exist. I got it with a clock and it was really cool actually a watch uh, some of, uh, nowadays mm, there aren't many watches with minifigures there are, uh, there are minifigures but not minifigures they have something molded on the, in the, on the back and yeah it's weird here is his printing and I love this minifigure, it's really cool. I and I'll show you where I uh, usually put it. Wait, I must be careful. Yeah. I uh, like to put it here with my other Star Wars minifigures. Well Yeah, I'll get it later. <laughs> and now Oh, <laughs> this is Batman and a little robot. I mean, it's not little. He looks really intimidating, actually. He has two lightsaber blades or a uh, background. <laughs> he has two uh, laser blades, or, yeah, some arrows and these things. <laughs> Um, uh, that fall off pretty easily, and I think you can like make them drones or something like they would spin and and the spin and attack Batman and his red eyes are here, and let me take the other drone, <laughs> actually, these weren't supposed to come off, but I like. I think this idea is pretty cool. And without the drones uh, or uh, or without the 
the side pieces or you can call them armor and you if you play with them you'd say like he would the and like Batman would damage the these armor pieces and they would fall off and then the robot would be very vulnerable, you know, like cracking him or something. Here he is and I like that uh, he comes with a transparent uh, stand. And now Batman na 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 Batman he has a belt black uh, legs and his back printing Mu some muscles over him. uh he uh, in the pack on the in or anyway uh on he wasn't supposed to come with two but it was uh, an extra it was an extra one of them i mean and i just wanted to put it so he would have two uh bat ranks and now his face let me show you here the mask his face his op alternative looks it's like that so yeah, this was the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, my fingers. <laughs> Bye.